Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we are going to learn about Carnap map simplification method. Now we will start the session. The map method. The map method provides a simple, straightforward procedure for minimizing Boolean functions. Hence, this map is known as Carnap map. Here, the map is a diagram made up of squares. For example, here I am showing this is one of the three variable k map. Here, this map is made up of squares. And here, each square represents one mean term. In this box, each square represents one mean term. Since any Boolean function can be expressed as sum of mean terms. For example, if we consider the three variable map. Here, the number of variables n equal to 3. So, by using 2 power n, we may find out there are 8 cells. For a three variable map, this is the diagram we are going to use. And in this graphical chart, it is going to consist of 8 number of cells. Means, in e, e, one cell is going to represent one mean term. Now we will see the arrangement of three variable k map. How the mean terms we are arranging, we will see now. Here, the mean terms are not arranged in a binary sequence, but in a sequence similar to the gray code listed as shown in the table. Now this is the table showing the conversion of binary sequences to gray code sequences. Here, we will see how the gray code can be find out. Here, binary to gray code conversion we are considering here for the code 110. For the 110, the gray code we can find out it as first bit write as it is. Here, the first bit is 1. So, write the first bit 1 as it is. And to find out the second bit, we need to do exclusive OR operation in between first bit and second bit. So, 1 exclusive R, 1, we may find out as 0. Here, this is the truth table showing regarding exclusive R gate. When the bits are 0, 0, output will be 0. When the bits are 0, 1, output will be 1. When the bits are 1, 0, output will be 1. And when the bits are 1, 1, the output will be 0. Based on this truth table, we may find out easily. So, coming to here, the second bit, the exclusive R operation of first and second bit, 1 exclusive R1 will give as 0. And to find out third bit, we need to do exclusive R operation between second bit and third bit. So, 1 exclusive R0 will give as 1 here. So, the gray code of 110 is 101. Here, we are considered. So, here each binary sequence gray code we find out in this manner. So, for the each respective gray code, here we may write mean terms as for three zeros, it is representing M0, for 0, 0, 001, it is representing M1, and similarly, 100, 0, 0, it is representing M4 mean term. Now, as per this gray code, we are arranging mean terms in the three variable k map. So here, firstly, the mean term is m0. So we write down m0 here. And next mean term is m1. And th third cell is going to consist of m3. And fourth cell is consist of m2 mean term. When we are arranging mean terms in this three variable k map, for the first row, we need to consider from left side to right side. And when we are arranging for second row, we need to consider from right side to left side. So after that mean term M2, the mean term next is M6. So right here M6. Next after that M7 and M7 here. And next M5 and next M4. So in this manner, by considering gray code, we are arranging the mean terms from M0 to M7. 
The main use of this gray code is by using this gray code, we are going to find a one bit difference from each adjacent cell. So if we consider M0 momentum here, we can write here by considering variables as like here A variable, here B variable, here C variable. So row side, we may take A variable as constant and column side, we may consider B and C variables are constant. So by considering these three variables, the M0 momentum can be write as A complement, B complement and C complement because in min terms, 0 bits we are representing with complement variables and 1s we are representing with normal variables. So here in this M0 min term, the sequence is 0, 0, 0. So 0 bits we are representing with complement variables. So M0 can be written as A complement, B complement and C complement. Similarly, M1 can be write as A complement, B complement, C. So here M1 is equal to A complement, B complement, C. Coming to the M3, the min term is A complement, B, C. And coming to M2, A complement, B, C complement. If we observe this first row of min terms, here A complement variable is common. So for the first row, we may consider A complement variable as common variable. And coming to the second row, here M4 can be write as here A, 1 means A, 0 means B complement and C also 0 here, so C complement. Coming to M5, A, B complement, C and M7, a and B and C. And coming to M6, A and B and C complement. If we observe the second row here, A variable we may take as common. And if we observe each column, for the first column, B complement, C complement in M0, B complement and C complement in M4 momentum are common. So in for the first column, we may take common variables as B complement, C complement and if we are observing each column here, we may take B complement C as common variables, for the third column B C as common variables, for the fourth column B C complement as common variables. So in this manner, we are arranging min terms in this three variable K map. In this three variable min terms arrangement, we may find out one characteristic as per this gray code. Here, the characteristic of this sequence is that only one bit changes from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1. If we observe either row side or column side, from one bit term to other bit term, there is only a one bit difference. For example, if we consider min terms M3 and M7, the variables here they are changing is A bar to A here. The B variable, C variable are common in both the min terms. For example, if we observe min terms M4 and M6, here A and C bar are common in this M4 and M6 min term. And there is only one variable changing that is B bar to B. Here in this three variable K map or four variable K map, we are going to find a one bit difference from each adjacent cell. For example, if you are comparing this Karnoff map with a page here, the min terms arrangement will be like this. And if we consider a three variable K map or four variable K map, every time the right side column is adjacent to left side column and the top row min terms are adjacent to bottom row min terms and in between all other min terms are adjacent to each other. So in this manner we are arranging min terms in a three variable k map or four variable k map 
by using gray code. Thank you.